Hello, I'm Melissa from the Volusia County Public Library and today in this edition of Wired Up with Melissa, we are going to be making some garden wind spinners. You can put them in your garden, you can put them in your windowsill, it doesn't have to be in a garden, but these are awesome for springtime and um, just so you know, we do have lots of gardening books at the Volusia County Library. And I wanted to show you a couple of books that we have in our collection that are available for checkout. This one is Rustic Gardening Projects. So this one has more to do with decorative things to put in your garden. This one is a craft book. It is Handcrafted Projects for Your Home. Uh, 56 Make-It-Yourself Accessories to Personalize Your Space. And this has some really lovely projects in it available for checkout here at the Volusia County Public Library. All you need is your library card. So today for this project, we need very few materials. Um, we will need some marbles, and you can choose any kind of marbles you would like. I've got these green marbles. I think they're really pretty. And I've got these ceramic beads to put somewhere in my creation. Maybe this one at the bottom and this one in the middle, just to give it a little bit more character. Um, we're going to try with this really thick wire, but it is very flexible. All right, this one is a 16 gauge wire. So we're going we're gonna to start off trying with this. Um, if you have a thinner gauge wire, that would, that would also work too. We're going to need some needle nose pliers. And I am going to use a marker to spin my wire around to make our, um, to make our spirals. And some fishing line, just plain old fishing line. To, um, to use at the end to hang it. So I hope that you like this project. I think it will look awesome in your garden or in your windowsill, and let's get to it. So here you can see I've got my materials laid out. I've got a couple of different size markers. First thing I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut the end of my wire at an angle, slanted like so. And then I'm going to bend it over. This is going to be for the end where we put our fishing line, where we hang it. And just loop it around. Use your pliers to go around and secure it like this. And there's the top end of our project. And now I'm going to go ahead and get started making my spirals with my marker. I'm going to use this thinner marker because I have some smaller marbles. If I had bigger marbles, then I would use this thicker marker. And you can make the spirals as loose or as tight as you want. After you make them, you just pull that wire right off and straighten it out a little bit here and there's my first little grouping of spirals. And now what I'm going to do, I decided that I'm going to put one of my ceramic beads on first. I'm going to put one on the top and one on the bottom. So be careful when you're working with the wire that you don't hit yourself in the eye. But I am putting it onto the wire and then I'm just kind of threading it through the top part like this. And then I'm going to thread it through the bottom part to make sure it's extra secure and it'll also look more symmetrical. So 
And there I go. I'm using about four feet of wire, by the way, for this. You can use less or more. And when you are ready to put your marbles in, you just bend the wire a tiny little bit, just enough to get that marble in there, because we want the marble to stay in place. You can use your pliers to move the wire around a little bit to keep it to keep it in place. There's really no rules. And there's the top part of my garden wind spinner. Now I'm going to go right into making some more spirals. This one I'm going to make a little bit tighter. And I do leave a little bit of room in between the spirals and, and the beads and whatever else you want to put on it. It gives it some length. All right, so that's a good looking spiral right there. And I'm going to take one of my marbles and just gently pop it right in there. There we go. A friend of mine recommended maybe some glue, like a glue gun, to make sure that they stay in there, especially after the wind's blowing them for a while. And you can always do that too. And I'm going to leave a little bit of space and start on another spiral. Here we go. Round and around we go. Around our marker. Just, again, be careful you don't hit yourself in the eye. If you need to wear safety goggles, by all means. I wear glasses, so I don't, I don't have too big of a problem with it. There we go. Beautiful. And then you decide which marble you want. Pop it right in there. However you need to. There we go. And here's what we've got so far. You can always straighten out whatever parts you want to. Use your pliers. We're going to do another spiral. We're getting close to the end here. So I made my spiral and I'm putting two marbles in this spiral, which you can totally do. You can also use beads, regular beads, as long as the as long as the hole is thick enough to fit the wire through. And so far, so good. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to put this other ceramic ring around the bottom and just doing that by putting the wire through and then I'll use my pliers to secure it. We don't need to go top and bottom, just, just the top because it's hanging there. And then we're going to take our fishing line and we're going to tie that to the end. Okay, so here it is, our garden wind spinner. And remember that the longer your fishing line on the end, the more it's going to spin in the wind. And I think I'm going to hang this in my garden. I hope you enjoyed this video 
And remember to check out um, the library, get a library card if you don't already have one. Check out our digital resources like Hoopla and Canopy and just come and see us at the Volusia County Public Library. Thank you again.